So here we have it, the A10C version. It's been a quite fun build actually. Uh, it was fitting good, all the parts. Uh, I'm quite happy with the painting overall. Uh, one thing that I'm not so happy with is uh, the landing gears. I think the plastic is maybe dry or something because they just snaps off if I just push them a little too much. I was just doing some weathering on them and they just blip, snapped off. So I think the plastic is quite uh, dry or something. But I have started to weather it on the belly side of the fuselage now. So now it's time to complete this build with uh, the cockpit canopy and uh, the weapons of course uh, I think it will be fully loaded with missiles and things like that so and it's a special day or a special day I shouldn't say but it's uh, actually 
exactly one year since I started to build scale models now. So we have to celebrate that. Ba -bum 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 -bum. So I will finish this one up now. <clears throat> and after that I will give it a scale model score. And after that you're gonna see a video of the finished plane and then some still photos. Hang on, be safe out there, it's a strange world. So it's time to give the, the A10C Black Snakes uh, a scale model score. The kit is from Italeri, it's scale 1 to 48. Uh, I guess it's an old uh, model and uh, I can tell you about the looks on the decals. And uh, some plastic parts were really really fragile. So we will see how much score this little puppy will gain. So we start with the instructions, were they easy to follow? I would say that they were just normal. Painting guide is normal. Decal guide as well is quite normal. Nothing that stands out there. Uh, were there any errors? Yes or no, but I guess the instructions is missing some decals in some places, so... But I'm not familiar with uh, this uh, airplane, so uh, I say no there, but have that in mind. Informative, yes, it was very, you can read a lot about the plane, so that gives the model a score of 17 points for the instructions part. So let's scroll down to spruce. Details on parts, I would say it's normal for this model. Uh, seam line, there were some small seam line on landing gear, etc. There were no ejector pin marks, uh, there's no flush. And the uh, 3D design of the part is normal. The plastic is normal, me like. And any parts not fitting, there were none. So that gives us a score of 21 points for the spruce. So let's go down to the build. Build level, I would say, is hard. It's not normal. Portrait zoo is actually quite normal for this kind of model. Uh, fun factor, uh, it's an awesome build. It's The plane is itself, it's like a monster plane. I, I really like this build and everything was fitting nice with the fuselage so oh, it's, a, it's a good model and it's awesome to build. Uh, durability strength I would say it's weak. Uh, I managed to snap the landing gears twice even though I was just weathering it with a pencil so it could be that the model is old so the plastic is fragile I don't know. But I have to say weak for durability and strength. Uh, decals, very high quality. Uh, over designed CAD, now it's a normal CAD and there were no surprises. So that gives the, the build a score of 18 points. So this kit gets the total point of 56 points of the maximum 74. So now let's head over to see a video and some still photos of the final build. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. <laughs>